Hey everyone, welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen. As you come in, please make sure you say hello. And in that bottom left-hand corner of your mobile device, there is a share button. I would love it if you would share my video. It is Wednesday morning. Crazy, I know, right? I haven't been here in two days, but I have a crazy work schedule this week so I wanted to make sure I came to you live today this morning before I go in and let me just get this all set up you guys give me one second let's see here sorry just getting my screen set up also you guys Real quick, for those of you that are new, this is a company that is called Chocotour. If you don't know what it is, we are a new DIY home decor business opportunity where you can create beautiful home decor signs, you can make crafting, you can do, you can make crafting, you can do lots of different crafting options, you can do t-shirts, hey Sandy, hey Crystal. Um, and we have these amazing products like silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste and we have our inks where you can do like t-shirts and pillowcases. And then we also have several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames, canvas pillowcases and totes. Um, but you can use this on wood, tin, which I'm using today, dry erase board, glass, I mean, you guys, the list is endless. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please let me know. The greatest thing I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity for $99 where you would get this amazing kit with over $240 worth of product. And I can tell you this has been amazing. So maybe you're a crafter, maybe you're a craft blogger, maybe you're a mom, maybe you're somebody, uh, you know, a college student, whatever it may be, you guys, this opportunity can help anyone, especially if you've ever wanted to craft or if you like crafting, this is for just about anyone. So you guys, I am going to get my screen set up. I am putting myself right up there in the corner today because I, as you can see, I, I'm glad I'm far away. <laughs> you don't want to see me right now. Got my hat on. So this is what we're going to be using today, you guys. This is an A10. I don't know if you can hear that. This is a tin surface. I haven't done tin in a while for you guys. Um, it's actually been a long while. So I wanna talk about when you are using tin. And this would kind of be the same thing with glass. Now today I am using our amazing grocery transfer. This is actually a part of our corner market collection. And what that means is Chocotour released a couple collections this year. And that is just several transfers that you can use together to make like a collage on your wall um, of signs and things like that. Or, you know, you can combine them all together and they make a like complete look for that specific design. So this is part of the corner market collection. And again, you can see there's all kind of different pieces on here and we're only going to be using a few. So again, you can mix and match when you get them all or buy them separately, whichever is easier for you. Now, really nice on the back of all of our transfers has the directions on how to do this. So it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store because these are all reusable. So even though I'm doing this today on this tin sign, if I wanted to make a gift for somebody or if I wanted to do something on you know, a wooden piece or something like that, you know, this would even be cute on like using this on like your kitchen cabinet. I mean, a lot of different things you can do with this, but the directions are right on the back and you can use this, you can wash it, you use water and Clorox wipes. Hey Deidre, welcome. And then you are good to go. You let them air dry and you put them right back on their carrier sheets. So they, oh my gosh, I'm out of sorts today. Woo. So all I'm doing now is just cutting this right across the cut lines. So if you guys can see, there are cut lines in all the transfers, so you know where to cut it apart. So I'm just cutting this apart. So how is everyone doing today on this Wednesday? I have to go into work today. I work three to 11, fun stuff. I've been working the night shift the last couple days. 
so I'm finally coming here live to chalk with you. So I'm just cutting this apart. This is this is the boring part, I know you guys. So this is where you need to talk to me and tell me what you're doing, what's going on. If you have any questions about chalk and sore, let me know. Now, like I said, we're not going to be using all of these pieces today. Not at all. So only ones I'm going to be using are the word grocery. I'm going to do the Main Street Market there. No, I'm sorry. The Main Street Market is going to go up here. Like right at that tippy tippy edge. And then it's going to have the family owned and operated at the bottom. So these other pieces, these ones here, I'm not going to be using for this design. So like I said, I could totally use these on something else, whatever I wanted to do later on. All right. So now I am just going to take my marker and write on the back. So I know what side of the carrier sheet I will put my transfers back on when I'm done. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a tip. I always like to give a tip every now and then, and you guys may have heard this already if you've watched me. When you remove your transfers from the carrier sheets, I need a place to put them aside. I just want to show you one thing. Oh, you're at work. How nice, Shaleen. Oh, look at you guys. You get to watch it work. Now that's awesome. I wish I could do that. So you're going to take your finger and you're going to run it across the edge of your transfer to get this started doesn't matter as long as you can get it started on one side or another because you don't ever want to pick at the corners. See? Don't pick at your corners. Hey, Tammy, rub your finger over an edge to get it started. Okay? You're going to flip your transfers over and you're going to remove your carrier sheets from the transfer. Okay? So my tip for you, though, is this. If you forget to write on the back, make sure you see that. Do you see how there's a sheen on one side? That's the side your transfer is going to go back on, okay? Oh, thanks for sharing, Sandy. Good morning, Tammy. So just so you know, in case you forget to write on the back of your transfer, you can notice the different sides. One side is the mat, and then one side has that sheen to it, okay? Now, you guys, this is really, really important. Two things here. First off, like I said, I'm doing this on tin. One thing about tin and your transfers when they go together, holy mackerel, do they stick. I mean, they will stick to the surface like crazy. So I'm going to be doing two steps for this today. And this is something new for me as far as what the first step I did. I did wax this surface. Okay, so I wax where I'm going to be chalking on this tin. And again, I use the Minwax Finishing Paste in a natural color. I know I like to open this up each and every time. So as you can see, it's just a wax. I take my paper towel, I put it in there, and then I rubbed it all over my surface. But again, I use the Minwax Finishing Paste in Natural. I let that dry, okay? So this does have a waxing on here. Secondly, you guys, please, 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 tin, plastic, um, metal, glass, fuzz your transfers, okay? So this is one of our awesome amazing, super fabulous, I don't think I can say that ever, ever more, um, fuzzing cloths that we offer through Chocotour. And I love these. Love these. I just got mine in. One side has a great microfiber. The other side is for your fuzzing. I am fuzzing up this transfer. I'm going to fuzz it up a couple times because I am putting this on tin and I am telling you it sticks to tin. Okay. So I'm fuzzing this up, and these are available, you guys, on our website, just so you know. Now that I got that fuzzed up, I'm going to place this where I want it, right on my surface. Now I want to make sure I have room for my Main Street Market and my family. Okay, so I think I'm good there. So I just want to make sure I'm even. What do you guys think? I think I look even. See what I'm saying? Like it's already sticking. Let me just kind of measure a little bit from the edge. So I'm about there. Hmm, I think I'm okay. I might have to go. Do you hear that? Like I am talking this these stick. These stick craziness. 
I just want to make sure. So once I get it where I want it, okay, I'm going to smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my transfer, in my silk screen. Sorry. Now, you guys, again, you don't need to press this down. I recommend you don't press it down so that you have an easy option to pull it up. Just make sure where your silk screen is that you smooth it out. Okay, because you don't want any air bubbles and you don't want any of your silk screen areas to not be down so you have any bleeding or anything. Now, I'm just going to be using our black Chalkology chalk paste for this whole design today because I want this to be more of that farmhouse decor look. Okay, so remember your chalk paste is water soluble, semi permanent. This is one of our old smaller jars. The new jars are a three ounce. So, just so you can see, these were our old jars. These are the new jars. A lot bigger. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just not going to let this go to waste, so I'm going to use it. Now your chalk paste, you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency, and this one's really good. But if for any reason it would not be, you just add some water and you just stir it. All right. So I'm just going to get, I'm actually, I got one of my stir sticks, and I'm just going to put some on here with my stir stick because I'm going to be using my angled squeegee. So I've got my squeegee. Hey, Brin is it Brenda? Like Brenda, but Brenda. So I'm just taking my chalk paste and I'm pulling this across the silk screen. That's all I'm doing. If you want to go up and down, you can go up and down. You want to go left to right. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you have nice clean lines and pull it across your silk screen. Okay. Any excess, we will put right back in the jar. Oops, moving my design all over the place. Now, the one thing you have to know with your chalk paste when you're using this is chalk paste does dry quickly. So I like to do a lot of workshops, and it's funny because the one thing I say at my workshops is if you're working with the chalk paste, you want to use your chalk paste. Now, I'm going to peel and reveal this, you guys, but do you see it's very sticky. Um, left to right, up to down, never corner to corner. Um, but I always tell my people at my workshops, don't do your chalk paste and walk away to go get a food or a drink or anything like that. You need to make sure you get your transfers off because what will happen is your chalk paste will dry in that silk screen. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Hey, Catalina, welcome from California. All right, so now look how great that looks. I've got my transfer off of there. I just stuck it in my tub of water. Let me show you, in case some of you are new to this. I have my tub of water off to the side. I just laid my transfer in there, and I will clean that up after we are done today so that I can reuse this again another time. So look how great that looks, though. Do you not love that? Look at the nice, clean letters. Look at that. Awesome. This is what I love about our products. Now I am going to get a hair dryer and I'm going to dry this. You don't have to do this. I'm only doing it for time purposes. So like right now, if I was at a workshop, I would say, go ahead, let that dry. Go get your snacks and your drink while this dries. And then we'll go to the next part. And you usually can see when it starts to dry, it turns like more of a matte finish, which is awesome. So then you know. Oh, uh, thanks, Crystal. All right. So if, if anybody new is on here today and you have any questions about what I'm doing or the products, please let me know. I would love to uh, answer those for you. All right, so now again, just taking my finger, I'm going to find an edge, run it over the edge. Don't pick at your corners. I'm going to flip this over and pull off my transfer. And again, totally fuzzing up the transfers, you guys, doing this on tin. I don't know if you heard when I was removing that one how sticky it was. And I even waxed this surface. All right, so I'm just going to fuzz this up with our super amazing fuzzing cloth that we came out with. And I'm going to put this one right up here. And if you'd like to, if you're one that likes to have things perfect, 
you know, you could do your measuring and all that stuff. I always eyeball my stuff. I'm, I'm really, I'm really not like perfect that way. I just try to eyeball it. I think I'm going to go up just a little bit. How's that look? I got my sign from Michael's. I had a coupon, so I got it from Michael's. Gotta love Michael's coupons. All right, so again, just gonna take my chalk paste in black. And this time I'm gonna use a little or squeegee only because I have a little of surface area. Did you see how quick that is? Look at that. Super quick, super easy. Okay, I'm gonna get my transfer. Again, peeling left to right. Do you hear that? Ugh. That makes me so nervous because it's so sticky when it goes on tin. Looks good, you guys. Looks good. I'm loving it. All right. One more piece. Now the other thing, just so you know, if for if for any reason you would happen to mess up, the beauty of our products, you guys, is that you are able to take this off. Here, let me do this. Let me put this on here. You are able to take this off if you used a little bit of water. So let me just show you an example. All right. Oh, oh no. Look what I did. I've got some chalk paste on my board. Okay. All you're going to do is get a little bit of water and spray it on. So even if you messed up your letters, you can do this. I've got, you know, my chalk paste on my board. Oh no. Just take a little bit of water, a paper towel, and you clean it off and you're good to go. That's the really, that's the beauty of our products is it's kind of, it's kind of, I don't want to say goof proof, but it's goof proof. I mean, if you mess up, you just fix it. That's the beauty of these products. So just kind of wanted to show you that. Now, the other thing though, is you're probably thinking, well, what about this? Can I touch it? Once it's dry, you can absolutely touch this. Okay. It's not going to come off unless you wipe it or spray it with water and wipe it off with a Clorox wipe or wet towel. The other thing you can do is you can always seal your projects and make them permanent with a Krylon sealer. It's a crystal clear sealer. So these are available at any craft store or Michael's or, or anything, um, Lowe's, every place like that. So that's what you can do to seal it to make it permanent. So really, really awesome product that we have that it's kind of like if you mess up, you just fix it. You just wipe it off and you fix it. All right, so this one's going to go right down here. Kind of want to make sure my I'm even with my words. How does that look? Looks good. Looks good. I think we're good. Again, smoothing that out. Oh, you know what? I gotta put it up a little tiny bit because my and was on the black. Do, do, do. Almost done. And so what? This sign is maybe gonna take me if I would if I would do it without talking because I tend to talk too much. So this this sign would have maybe taken me like 20 minutes to complete my own DIY home decor sign. How cool is that? Right? And again, such a fun get together with your girlfriends, you guys. Such a fun get together. Pulling it across my silk screen. Super easy. Any excess you want to scrape off. Because you don't want to waste. Put it back in your jar. Just like that. I'm going to clean up my squeegees as well. Because everything cleans up for us to reuse. I'm going to get my transfer. And like I said, when you're working with this, try not to put your edges down so you have somewhere to peel. This, this blows my mind. Look at those letters. 
Can you see that? It's amazing to me every time I remove a transfer how awesome products turn out. Look at that. Now how cute is that going to be in a kitchen? Maybe you know somebody that has a cute little diner or a cute little mom and pop grocery store. How cute would this be? Like above um, a door frame or something like that or above a window seal. Now like I said you can seal this and make it permanent. You can leave it the way it is in case you ever want to change it out for a season. But that's it, you guys. This is the beauty of our products. You can do so many things, make your own DIY home decor signs. So if you're interested in purchasing products, you can shop right on my website, which is chalkingwithjen.com. Or if you're interested in learning more about the business opportunity and would like to join my opportunity group, comment opportunity below and I will make sure I add you. You guys, thanks so much for being with me on this Wednesday afternoon and stay tuned for more fun crafty videos. All right, have a great day. Bye.